Hey, beautiful people. Thanks for joining me. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. Well, today I am back with another scammer. And this time, fam, is serious. This is serious. You know, you know that little saying that um, it's all fun and games until it's not fun and games? Or it's all good until, you know, you get an eye poked out or whatever? You know, um, with these scam calls, I, I like to thank... First, I'd like to thank uh, Kid Boga, uh, uh, Scammer Payback, Jim Browning. Um, oh, gosh. I can't even think of uh, Pierogi. Is it Pierogi? Yes. Kid Boga. I'd like to thank Kid Boga, Jim Browning, Scammer Payback, Scammer Revolt, um, Scam Baiters. Um, it's just so many of them out there that are um, catching these scammers. And some of them are catching them virtually. And I'd just like to thank all of you all out there um, who help to um, help for your loved ones and not be a victim of a scam bait or a con artist or whatever you want to call it. Now, majority of the calls, majority of the calls from me that I get, that I receive, are, are uh, foreigners. And this is not a, a, um, a racial thing or anything like that, but they are foreigners. And they're somewhere in Calcutta or somewhere in India. Okay. And um, there's so many scammers out there. And they call. And a lot of times what happens is you'll get a robotic call. And then it'll say maybe press a number. Or they'll just give you, they'll just call you directly. The object is when you're baiting some baiting these scammers is to get them on the phone as long as possible so that they are unable to within that time that they're with you they're unable to scam someone who who may be more vulnerable to being scammed you know and um, there have been thousands of not hundreds of thousands of whatever people that have been scammed out of their life savings you know, and they don't just get the elderly people, you know, <laughs> think about the identity theft, you know, the white collar crimes, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, just have to be weary. You have to be weary. And um, as I said, you know, a lot of times, well, well the times when I do um, these videos, they are calling my landline. Yes, I'm one of the dinosaurs that still have a landline. So they're calling the landline and I'm recording them off of my cell phone. Um, this was a short call, but I just want to, you know, give you a warning because if you are like anything like me, as far as money-wise, I like to know where my coins are going. I like to know what I'm spending my money on, and and I'll tell you, it's a big rip off. Even you know they say, well, you know, maybe that person didn't hurt anyone or anything like that. But I can tell you personally, which I'm sure that many of you all out there that's listening to me and watching me can tell me per has had personal experiences to where something has been stolen from you or you've been burglarized or robbed or whatever. And I'm going to tell you, it is not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling at all to have someone take something from you, especially when you've worked. You know, I mean, and it's yours. The main thing is that it's yours. But without further ado, I want to go ahead and um, first tell you some of the scams out there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into this call. And I say this is a serious call. And I'll tell you why um, 
in a few minutes. I'll tell you why. But please stay stay with me for the entire video. It's only going to be a few minutes long. So um, hopefully it'll be helpful to you or, you know, you can spread the word to your loved ones, friends, and stuff like that. So, um... Mm. You know, some of the scams out there is for the iPhone, with the iPhone 12, is it? The, whatever the newest one, the latest one is. I still have a, a stylus, what do I don't know, I have a Stylo 5. LG Stylo 5, so, but they have the iPhone 12 scam out there. And by the way, if you have a defibrillator or if you have a pacemaker, um, they recommend that you do not have that iPhone and get that iPhone. They also have the Amazon uh, <clears throat> scam out there where they want you to uh, go and get uh, Amazon cards. Not Amazon cards, but uh, purchase things through Amazon and stuff. So be very wary of that. Even locally, I'm getting, I get it foreign and domestic. I say foreign and domestic because I have people from the fire department call. People from, and we in here in Jacksonville, North Carolina, we have volunteer fire department. This is the only place, the first place in this is the first place that I've ever been to to where they have vol all their firemen are volunteers. So and um you have to be wary of that too because there have been some um, higher ups that have been in trouble for for that for those phone calls, <clears throat> not for the phone calls, but embezzling money and stuff. So uh, you got the fire department, police department, and one of the popular ones is they call you. They say they have an, a warrant for your arrest. So, I get it foreign and domestic on that. But uh, most of the other scams and scam um, artists are the phone calls I receive, they are of Indian accent. So, and I'll tell you, they will get upset with you when they see that they cannot. When they see that they cannot uh, get anything out of you, get any money out of you, they're going to call you all kind of names, okay? Some of them will call you all kind of names, but they're going to say something negative about you at the end of the day. Uh, let me go ahead and finish. Gift cards, um, like Target and Amazon, they love those. Okay, that's when they call you and they say that, uh, you know, something is wrong with your computer, your Microsoft. We're calling you for Microsoft. And they get up in your computer because they get your IP address and everything. And they get up in there and they're able to move the cursor around. They black out your screen. While they're blacking out your screen, they are um, what they call siskiing you. They're, and they're getting information from your bank account and stuff like that. So, uh, or not bank account. They have a fake of, uh, like if you have a fake, not if you have a fake bank account. Let me stop. Let me, uh, let me slow down. They blacken your screen. And they want you to go and get gift cards, either Target gift cards or Amazon gift cards or some type of gift cards and everything like that in order to... For you to be able to uh, use your your computer again, okay. So please, please be weary. Also, be weary. Also, they have a debt relief or debt consolidation. Some type of way they're going to reduce uh, the 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 amount that you pay on your credit cards, or they're going to um, do some type of consolidation and so what they want you to do is get your what credit card do you have that you have that's the highest uh that you owe the highest on okay and they want something like three at least above three thousand okay 
So they'll, you, you tell them, you give them your credit card number. Now they tell you that we're going to look up your files and tell you what your um, payment will be, okay, and how you're going to do this. Okay, go ahead and look up my files. But the thing of it is, they need your credit card number to look up your files. No, if you have all this, come on, think about it. If they have all this information, why are they calling you to get more information? Okay? So then what the, the object of that is to get your credit card number so they can do what they want. You For you to give them their credit card number, they're not going to reduce anything. And first of all, when... And one, one main thing I would like for you all to realize, people to realize, is that when someone calls you with these type of scams and they have an accent and you can barely understand what they're saying, more than likely they are not legit. I'm just going to keep it real, okay? More than likely they are not legit, okay? You have the debt relief. You have the low interest credit cards. The Social Security Administration. I get this constantly. The Social, Social Security Administration will never call you, okay? They'll send you a lot of letters and information. But be careful with that because some of the scammers, they will send you letters as well, as I will show you later in this video. Also, this is one of the frequent ones I get as well. They have a vacation package for you. Now, I have even told the person, now that's when that has an, an American has come on the line. When you get to a certain point in the, car, in the phone call and they think that they, yeah, uh, let me go ahead and use my, my, my credit card. I'm going to go ahead and get this offer for this vacation package, right? So, I even, on one occasion, I call, I, when they called, I spoke to the, the next person up, the next tier, and I said, uh, no, you know, I've, I've traveled here, I've been in the military, I've traveled here, I've traveled foreign, I've traveled domestic, blah, 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 blah. He was still trying for it, and still I, until I finally had to tell him, <laughs> whew, I... I try to tell people, yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm a Christian, but you also have to remember that I'm a Christian from the hood, okay? So, um, and then you have this phone call in which I'm going to present to you today. It's less than a 10 minute call. Like, as I said, please, please, just bear with me. At one time, they did my go uh, said my government name, and I'll bleep that out. But that was, um, yeah, they said my government name, and I'll bleep that out. That's not a problem. Anytime you order online, anytime you order online, um, and, you know, you anytime you order online, use your credit card, things like that, you're going to have... Um, third parties giving away your information. You know, sometimes you're going to have third parties giving away your information. So, I mean, hey, it is what it is on that. But let's go ahead and listen to this call. We're going to go ahead and start it now. Yes, hello. This is Karen calling back on behalf of the Breast Cancer Relief Committee. So, my record show that not long ago, you pledged to help with a... I should have said this. This is Breast Cancer Research. They have been calling me off and on for several months. Let me introduce this call. This call is from Breast Cancer Research. They have been calling me for several months. They want me to pledge to give them 50, at least $50 um, for Breast Cancer Research. I belong to, I, I give to a lot of charities. I belong to several different organizations. And I take this very seriously. Now this scam 
I take very seriously. Because I take it personally because of friends. Uh, I, I, I take this personal because this is something dealing with someone's health. I take this personal because this is something dealing with someone's health and wellness. And to try to scam someone out, out of this, you know, that out of their money or uh, even play around with this topic is, it, it makes me feel some type of way, okay? So without further ado, let me go ahead and, sh and record this. So without further ado, let me go ahead and play this for you all. This is from... Hmm. Yes, hello. This is Karen calling back on behalf of the Breast Cancer Relief Committee. So, my records show that not long ago, you pledged to help with a generous gift. At this time, we have not received your donation, and to honor it today, would you take Visa or MasterCard? So, which card will you be using? You all sent me a package as well, right? You sent me a, a letter? So, unfortunately, being that we're wrapping up the drive today and we've already sent you costly mailings, we are hoping that you can honor your commitment to... You see, I am not asking for a package. I'm asking that you send me, or you are the same one, same people that sent me the letter. And uh, in, their, in their letter, it was to, you know, uh, send $50. I want to know if you all were the same people. But you see that she's saying we are wrapping up their camp. That's not what I'm asking her. What they did is they have a, a, an American or English speaking person on for the recording. And then when you say that you're going to give, they will put a live person on. So that's how I was able to get them after several months. I didn't know that's what I had to do to get them. Speak with a live person, please. Okay, small 
Breast Cancer Relief Committee. Now, I don't know about you all, but I, like I say, I take it personally because it's like someone calling me about giving to American Heart Association when they are not the American Heart Association. You understand what I'm saying? And, um, you know, <laughs> it's like you playing with my feelings, really? Keep them on the line longer.
they people I mean So the was my landline. Um so um as I said just beware that you know when you get these calls people are out there they're trying to scam you they're trying to take your money they're trying to take your, your information your personal information to use it against you just be weary also uh, w one of the things I was going to say is the voice and as you can see he's somewhere he's perhaps somewhere in India and the address that he gave me saying that he was in sawmill wherever that wasn't the same place where the envelopes came from he didn't know any information as he tried to deflect and this is say um when i asked him the zip code and stuff like that he didn't know that um just be weary fam and you all have a blessed day and i couldn't keep him on for as long as i wanted to but it was less than 10 minutes, but there was less than 10 minutes time that he had to go and scam somebody that was more vulnerable. You all have a blessed day. Stay safe. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And if you're first time watching me, I thank you as well. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, 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 share. Let them know what your girl is out here doing. You know I'm just trying to make put a smile on your face at the same time educate you and i educate myself in a lot of things as well but um you know i do asmrs mukbangs challenges um lip syncs mock pressions uh movie reviews a little bit of everything a little bit of variety of things and um i hope that you're enjoying it and i'll see you soon you all stay blessed and thanks so very much for watching and do not, I repeat, do not get scammed, okay? Don't get scammed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed.